Christmas is coming and the goose is getting fat. Mm -hmm. Please put a penny in the old man's hat. If you haven't a penny, a halfpenny will do. And if you haven't a halfpenny, God bless you. I'm Alice from Villastown. Christmas. We never had a turkey. We always had. But not always. Sometimes we'd have just two chickens, depending on the money. But my mother always uh, a goose, mm. and a goose her family had because we, I as a child used to sort of when I was down at my granny's house, lived there for until I was about six anyway. Mm. She had geese, and I remember there was what they call it, sort of it was there was a netting or something around the that the geese yeah. were in because I was always afraid that the ge goose would peck your eyes out or the gander yeah yeah, yeah. but I pro probably was told that because they just wanted me to keep away from the geese yeah. so then in latter years they had turkey when we were up in the village because stewards had uh, moved from the big house mm. the, the, when the raids had come and they, then they came down to uh, to Aglish, a big house down in Aglish. Mm. Mrs. Stewart used to uh, have turkeys yeah. and we'd buy the turkey from her. Uh, I don't remember that so well because sometimes I used to be up in Dublin for Christmas yeah. when I was working, yeah. If we had two chickens or something like that, because we had hens, but we catch the Maggie would, was a cook in Dramana and she would be up every evening sort of and she, my mother wouldn't hold a turkey for her. so I being the brave one Maggie would get me sort of you know to hold the head of the tur turkey she would have no nonsense sort of and, 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 and she'd have a knife and she would cut the what they call it the, 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 the head of yeah. the turkey and the blood would, would go down the shore the board would be put up behind the back door mm -hmm. for I don't know how long sort of but you know, but before it was plucked for Christmas, my father used to had then had a new thing came in where you didn't sort of cut the, you, you just twisted their, their neck, their, their neck yeah. you know, so, 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 I don't know which was more humane or whether any of it was humane. <laughs> the plucking of the turkey or the goose was a big thing, sort of, and they would keep uh, the fat of the goose for put it into a jar mm -hmm. and keep it was supposed to be good for rheumatism to rub to your back the giblets would be would be made soup for the day before christmas mm -hmm. for christmas christmas is sort of you would have um soup because there wouldn't be any anything else sort of cooked and wings would be Put up the chimney. The smoke would 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 would, would dry out the sinew where you'd hold the wing mm -hmm. and you'd sweep sort of the ashes and things like that with the wings. Yeah. 